three, two, one. Hello. Um, so this isn't exactly a video we'd ever planned on making. Yeah, the last time you would have seen us would have been in the south of Portugal, living life to the max and enjoying the sunshine. However, this is just a snapshot from the future. That was probably about two or three months ago. Now we're slowly catching up with our vlogs. Um, if you've been watching them, the timeline might get a little bit confusing, but the vlogs are a bit behind where we are now. And where are we now? What's the situation? We are currently on lockdown in Sardinia. We have found our way onto a closed down campsite and we are in the very good hands of the Westphalia Digital Nomads, which we are very thankful to have their help and advice and generally looking after the two of us. <laughs> and sort of, uh, we're on this roller coaster together because, you know, they're far more experienced than we are but at the same time, we have never faced anything like this before. It's all very strange. But before we get too much into the details of the situation and what we're gonna be doing, we just wanna say a big thank you to everyone who's reached out on Instagram and Facebook and personally, um, just saying, you know, we're thinking about you, what's your situation, we're, we're concerned, um, which is really nice. And a lot of people have also been offering all kinds of different help as well, which we really appreciate. But fortunately, we're in a position where we don't need um, too much help at the moment, fortunately. We have budgeted for being on the road for a year and in the current situation we're not really doing anything exciting yes. particularly. So we consider ourselves very lucky and we're in a pretty fortunate position but we know there's a lot of you out there that are in a worse position than we are and we are thinking about you guys. Yeah it's a very surreal and unique time so there's a lot to be thankful for. So we are on a campsite in Sardinia. Um, it's on lockdown, so we aren't allowed to leave, but we've got a big garden of campsite to explore. When we met the uh, Westphalia Digital Nomads, there was talk of maybe renting an Airbnb so we could you know, um, self-isolate in a more um, comfortable, comfortable um, situation. However, uh, with the changing rules, uh, you are no longer really allowed to go outside for anything other than pure necessity. I think that's sort of food and pharmacy. So, in a way, we are very lucky, as Meg said, to have all this space. This campsite is very big and it's very, very empty. Um, so there's us four and two gentlemen that run the place. That's it. Yeah, they live on site. That is why we're here, aren't, isn't it, really? Yeah, technically this is closed. So we've got all the facilities we need, uh, we've got toilet showers, we've got water, we've actually got electricity. Um, the only thing we grumble at is the speed of the Wi-Fi, but that's very much a first world problem and not a big deal at all. Yeah, we cannot whinge really. No. Oh, and ants are also a bit of an issue, but we can live <laughs> with that quite quite easily really. So we don't know exactly how long we're going to be here. The first sort of idea was maybe early April, like 3rd of April, but that's probably going to be pushed back. Yes. We, but that's not confirmed, there's only ru rumours. We are literally going day to day with different updates and little snippets from the media and things like that. So we, we aren't particularly any more informed than you guys are, but we, I think we're pretty relaxed. We're quite relaxed, but that's because we've been trying to be as sensible as possible. Um, with Armando being Italian, he's helped us fill out the relevant forms online. And actually the police did come a couple of days ago uh, they were let onto site and me and Meg were like, well, what's this? And uh, we could hear them mentioning both our names. Yeah. <laughs> the hearts started pounding. I thought, here we go. We're going to be uh, chucked out of the country. But they were just, to be fair to them, they were keeping up, making sure that we were where we said we were. And that luckily they saw us, we were in the campsite and we haven't left here for uh, over a week. Yeah. So we arrived in Sardinia literally 10 hours before the whole country went on lockdown. So that meant because we were new to the country, we had to do a 14-day self-isolation to make sure that we didn't have the virus. So that means that poor old Armando is having to do our shopping for us, which is weird. We try to figure out a shopping list that'll last us roughly about a week, but we also feel bad because it can be quite a bit of stuff. And, you and know, a bit stressful as well, having yeah. to go into the supermarket with gloves and a mask on and he's shopping for obviously us and themselves so it looks like he's buying a large amount of stuff just for him as we mentioned earlier we are catching up with our vlogs and that's why the timeline i think a couple weeks ago we released our christmas new year's videos <laughs> uh, but we are sort of slowly catching up and eventually we will probably be on top of things again yes and there will be more information 
As our timeline continues of what actually happened here in Sardinia, where we were for the first four days, which was beautiful, but we couldn't be there forever, which is such a shame. And we kind of want to know what you guys want from us, really. We've got plenty of time on our hands now. Yeah, we obviously don't want to do sort of daily vlogs of, oh, lockdown, what's quarantine life like? Because I'm sure you're being bombarded with that and to be frank, I've seen enough of it myself. If there's anything that you want to see from us or aspects of van life that you want to know about or maybe look at the van again and what spaces are working for us, we'd like you to let us know in the comments section below. So we decided to do this little video just because a lot of people, as we said, have been reaching out and asking what we're up to because obviously it's a weird one, it's a weird situation, people are interested and slightly concerned. We would have done a live stream, however, as we mentioned, the Wi-Fi is probably not up to it and I think it'd be more um, stressful than anything if we're trying to say, you know, we're on lockdown then doosh, the live stream cuts out and people are like, oh, what happened? <laughs> but if you'd like to know more information or if you want to get in touch, please feel free, add us on Facebook or Instagram at VW underscore Flora and just send us a message and we will most likely reply because we're not really doing very much. <laughs> yeah, there are links down below to make it easy if you want to click on and go to Instagram, Facebook pages. As Meg said, we do reply to 100% of you guys, I think. Um, it just might take a little while because we have to walk over to get the internet. But yeah, we like hearing from you, so feel free. Tell us what it's like outside of these <laughs> campsite walls, please. So the overall message from us in this video is that we're fine with dealing with it the best we can and we're being very, very sensible and we can ride it out for quite a little while. And we hope that you stay safe and sensible too, wherever in the world you may be. Yep, and make sure you look after your loved ones and people around you. Let's think about positivity and kindness. So that's it from us, the Novice Explorers in Lockdown Camp. We'll see you later.